What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent marketing strategist and today's video is going to be a bit different just because I'm going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at how I'm gonna be setting up a meta ads campaign today for one of my clients. Quick background on the client and the whole reason why we're setting up these meta ads in the first place. First off, they are a architecture studio located in the state of California. And long story short, we are looking to set up a meta ads campaign today because one, we have been running Google ads for this client for a very long time now, and they have been very successful. We've essentially completely saturated all of the marketing opportunity on those channels. So we are now looking to expand. And generally when it comes to the clients I'm working with, predominantly service-based businesses, the way I like to approach paid traffic campaigns is primarily starting out on Google ads because that will target the bottom of the funnel. And then once we have proven success there, and once there is the opportunity to increase advertising spend, then it makes much more sense to focus on meta ads because that is going to allow the company to expand its brand awareness amongst prospective clients in the local area. Our goal with these ads today is going to be to retarget people who have visited the website or are currently on the email list of which we have 1300 subscribers for. And we're gonna look to retarget them with a consultation offer specifically for a custom modern home type project, which the client specializes in doing both modern and minimalist design. The client has been super successful in this other project category of ADU projects, but now we're looking to expand more into custom homes because basically there's just a lot more revenue opportunity there. So that is the whole reason why we are pursuing this advertising strategy and why we're gonna be setting up these meta ads today. Fortunately, my client has a lot of really great video assets, so that's gonna make setting up these campaigns a lot easier because when it comes to meta ads, they're much more involved than Google ads. You actually need really great creative along with really great copy, just like you would with Google ads. My goal with this video is to show you how I set up these meta ad campaigns for my clients. The behind the scenes style format that we'll be shooting today is I hope will make it much more entertaining to watch while you also learn something. So if these types of videos sound interesting to you, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out at least one video per week all about branding, web design and development, and digital marketing. So if you're a marketing director, if you're an entrepreneur, or even if you're just a fellow creative, there's going to be a lot of information on this channel that you're not going to want to miss. So definitely subscribe. All right, with that now out of the way, I'm going to be going down to a local co-working space here in Boulder, Colorado, just to make sure I stay focused, but also just to make this video a bit more cinematic. So Let's go to the co-working space. Roughly two to three hours later, the ads are finally set up. What I decided to do is set up an initial retargeting campaign of website visitors, people who have visited the Instagram and Facebook profile, as well as the email list that we have. And like I said, it's over 1300 people. And what's really cool with the Facebook and Meta ads is that basically Meta can match up those email addresses to people who have a registered Facebook account. And that way we can target them online through these ads. Other than already sending out weekly content via the email list, Basically, this is another way that we can stay top of mind and nurture those marketing qualified leads into becoming potentially sales qualified leads by booking a consultation. And I always like to start very broad and very basic, and then we can always refine over time because that is one thing to really you know drill home with these advertising campaigns on Google ads, meta ads, wherever, is that almost never are you going to set up an ads campaign and have it performing great right at the box. They require a lot of optimization, especially in the first month, I would say. Long story short, what I decided to do to start is to set up a video campaign. We're just starting with one project highlighting right now. It's their most recent highly produced video, but there's probably about three to five more projects we can add that have really well produced professional videos. Like I said, we're going to be retargeting people with that content. And then from there, I set it up so that whoever 
engages past 25% of those videos will then get enrolled in our next retargeting campaign, which is a specific consultation campaign because the whole reason why I said like in the beginning that we are setting up this ad campaign is so that we could actually generate more leads specifically within the custom home project category. Once someone has engaged with past 25%, then we are going to retarget them with a consultation offer so they can speak directly with my clients. Let me actually just dive into the ads real quick and show you how exactly it looks. That way you can get a sense of how I think about setting up these meta ad campaigns and how it might apply to your business or any other ads you're running for your clients as well. As you can see here, we have the two campaigns and then basically the way it works is that you need to set up custom audiences in order to retarget people that are um, engaging with your website or social platforms in some sense or the other. So basically what we have here is all website visitors and then we have the profile engagers and then we also have the video ad viewers as well here. And here we have the two campaigns that have been set up, the retargeting custom home videos and then the consultation campaign. So if we just go into edit real quick, you need to be very careful with the campaign setup here because this is going to determine how your ads get delivered. But then also it's going to be very important for determining um, the different types of options you have in the ads. So I chose the traffic metric because we want to drive traffic to the website off of the videos as well. The While the engagement might have been a little bit of a clear cut you know, solution to getting people to actually engage with our visitors and targeting those people. However, that did not have the option to add a link. So it was a no go basically. So the traffic campaign will be totally fine. And then I didn't get into any of this AB testing type stuff as well, because like I said, in the early stages, I really just like to keep things very simple, very broad. We can always refine, but that's just basically my philosophy when it comes to setting up these ads. People do it differently. There's really no right or wrong way. As long as you're always checking in with it, that's fine. Then if we just go to the ad set. So basically, again, we're trying to send people to the website. Then um, again, I don't set cost per results initially as either because I don't even know how much it's going to cost. Here, what I love about the retargeting strategy is that we don't need to actually spend a lot of money. So for this one, I just put $5 a day and you always need to take these results on the right hand side with a grain of salt because honestly, they're just estimates. But what I love about the small audiences on meta ads is that you don't need to spend a lot of money. So we're just going to spend $5 a day. It's about $150 a month. Honestly, we probably don't even need to spend this much initially, and I don't even think it's going to reach that budget. So I might actually reduce this lower. So what I would say is that basically when it comes to retargeting, you can spend anywhere between $1 to $5 per day, and it should be totally fine. So that's what I would take away from this, and that's why it makes perfect sense to always be investing in some sort of meta ads campaign because especially if you're already running traffic on like Google ads, for example, you can retarget that entire audience of people who clicked on your ads for just a couple dollars a day. So I think it's a no brainer as long as you have the budget. Again, this is where we set the audiences. And then I really just got to say, I really just like this Advantage Plus audience. I'd be curious if anyone else has similar feelings. Definitely leave a comment if you do. For example, if you go back a year or two ago, this was the standard way you'd have to always select a custom audience of basically the audiences we already selected. But now they just set it to where it just tells you that they're going to find the people for them to show the ads to without you setting any targeting parameters, which, hey, maybe it works. If it's a very broad market, like e-commerce type product, I could see Facebook being able to figure it out and make it work. But honestly, I mean, I just don't know who would set ads like that. So it's a really head scratcher of a situation. The client is located in San Diego. They do projects throughout California, but for now, I just figured we'd start on San Diego and then we can revise from there. And then, yeah, and then basically we have the ad creative and all that type of stuff. It's just a really cool video that I did have to edit as well, but I don't wanna to go too much into that because that's going to give away like the client and a lot more of our strategy. But rest assured, I did a good job of basically setting up the ads. One thing I would recommend when it comes to setting up the ads is you definitely want to have optimized placements, at least for the desktop version. So like the in-feed ads of just like an image or a video in a square format. But then when it comes to the story ads, you're definitely going to want to edit the creative. And this meta ads platform does allow you to edit the creative per placement. So basically you could have a different ad for people that are seeing the ads in the story feed versus people who are seeing ads in the regular feed. So Obviously, you need to optimize that because you'll see much better results. And then when it comes to the consultation campaign, all we're really looking to do here is, again, how I set this ad up is that we have a leads objective because that's what we're going to get, obviously, from here. We're not looking to just get this in front of as many people as possible. And here, then, again, it goes through the website, the conversion location. We have the pixel, which you need to set up in order to do all this retargeting in the first place. Basically, you set up a pixel. It's pretty straightforward. And then once you add that pixel, then you can do all this retargeting work that I've been talking about. Here, a dollar a day, because again, this is going to be a very small audience because we're just retargeting people who have already engaged with the videos already. 
Um, and then they would have only been seeing those videos if they had already been on the website or on the email list or engaged with one of the social profiles. So very small audience. And then basically, again, only 25%. And then I usually just do 180 days, which is pretty standard. Again, San Diego. And then again, the, I don't want to get into the ads because I'll give away you know, the creative, which is like the secret sauce, as well as the copy for making these ads work. So I don't want to get it too much into that, just out of respect for the client. But that is just a quick overview of how these ads are set up. Honestly, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't take too long, even though you got to fight against the meta ads interface. But what can you do? But yeah, that's how these ads are set up. Let me know if you have any questions. But hopefully this kind of gives you a little idea of the effectiveness of meta ads and how you might be able to use them in your business and specifically how you might be able to use these ads to really dramatically increase the return on investment from your current ad spend, especially if it's on different platforms. All right, so now I'm heading out from the co-working space. Got to go to a networking event later today in Denver. But hopefully you like the little style of this video. I'm trying to make it a little bit more cinematic and interesting by going to different locations, sharing my screen, giving you a behind the scenes look at my real life client work. So if this type of content interests you, then definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.